Good evening, ladies as well as gentlemen. Papa Boris here, playing some more Overfall. Last video, we started a new run, and it was a pretty good start. Chalk filled with food, frags, got two runes, uh, almost up to the fourth companion, because it took us a while to get there with the goblins, but we got there. So now let's go ahead and sail around these islands. I think with the goblins, you have to do like a story quest type deal. Um, yeah. This is the one... This is the one with the dwarves who just give you the key. Um, where do the dwarves go? And then let's go there. And then let's give them the key. Alright. I, I do kind of like the goblin quest a lot. Um, so siding with the elves is obviously the easiest. But the goblins have these fun little fights where you're, you know, siding with them against the troll. Or you got the, tr the trolls on your side. Alright, so we're doing... Let me think about this. I can do, of course, um, just walk up to this guy and hit him. There's nothing wrong with that. But I can also do a seismic slam and hit two people at once. I think that's worth it just to get the extra damage. And the question is, do I move up first? This guy has a chain attack. The hunter can get out of it, though. Hmm. In fact, the hunter can actually blind him. And this dwarf, this dwarf is damaged. That's interesting. Uh, he's actually quite a bit damaged. Because he got hit by the troll. The warlord can hit him. And I can actually kill him before... No, I cannot kill him before his turn starts. I could. I could potentially kill him before his turn starts. If I hit him with Seismic Slam, then anything from my ranger kills him. Hmm. That's very interesting. So I can kill this guy and rob him of a chance to act. Who else goes before him? Spearman. Spearman probably won't be able to heal him. So that's the question here strategically, is do you get rid of that guy? Do you take him off the map? Oh, uh, man, it seems great, honestly. The hunter then gets to blind these people. Yeah, I'll do it. It's t it's a tough decision to make, because it is tempting to do the seismic slam, but and uh, to hit two people at once, but I feel like killing someone is and, and stopping them from ever acting is better than damaging, you know, doing more total damage to the enemy team. Oh, it's nice, nice that this goblin actually killed this guy for me. With that volley. Okay, that's good. Is the javelin here going to go after the goblin? Nice. Alright, so the ranger needs to step away from the team so this guy doesn't um, do a chain axe attack. Now, hopefully this guy won't be attacking at all, but uh, you never know with these enemies. Okay. Hang on, I can actually blind... Here's the deal. The hunter's... Yeah, I feel like the hunter's blind is uh, better because it actually hits more people. So what I really should do is go for the fury and uh, just, you know, try to get this damage in. Oh, wait, I can actually do a... Now that I don't have to kill that other guy, I can immobilize this melee person. Yeah, that's that's definitely the best thing to do. Stop him from going anywhere. And we do land the crit. That's what? Double damage? Yeah, because I it, that attack normally deals three, but here I hit him for six. Right, I'm going to step away. Let's, let's not be in any kind of AoE position at all. Blind these people. This guy does have some melee attacks. He might not be able to get up to my team, though. And, of course, volley is the move here. That's, that's an easy one. Beep. Oof, we got a sick crit there. Okay, so this guy now is blind. He's going to attack the troll. Ah, uh, well, I, I don't have any regrets. I had to stand here to kill this guy with a seismic slam. So that's fine. I'll take the four damage. Man, this guy is going to probably melee the troll. Yeah, I want, the troll can do whatever. The troll can take it as long as he's not disarmed. In fact, the troll is not anything anymore. Great. All right, Warlord's back. I could heal him up right now not sure that's really valuable yeah I can't get in here for the for the uh, the blow actually the blow doesn't even doesn't even work this guy's back he's got 12 hit points that guy's got 12 as well hmm well we got some regeneration there so I guess I won't go after him let's stand here we'll put the fury again on the ranger, because she's the crit fisher here. And just whack him. Put on some trauma. Let's see if this goblin can maybe finish this person off. No, eight damage is too much to finish, but it's... Actually, the Tempest, without heals, is going to be dead from burning and poison. So let's see if that actually works out or not. Okay, my ranger probably just wants to attack uh, one of these people. A crit would kill this guy. Um... She can immobilize that one. 
I could just put regeneration on the warlord, but the warlord can just do his m movement ability at the end of the fight and heal. Um, so yeah, she'll just stand back here. Let's get this guy. Blind, bone poor, and fear. Hmm. This guy's got eight, seven, two, one. No, that doesn't do any bleeding. That just removes a buff. Huh. I kind of want to hit this guy to remove the buff, but I could also get his Aegis. All right, we're going to go for this one. He got the Bone Pour and the Fear, 20% chance. This would deal four damage plus maybe the bleeding. Does she have concentration from the Warlord? So this does, four, this, this does actually bleed him. So this deals exactly as much damage as that, but this has the longer range. This could be useful later for removing buffs, so we'll go for the bleed, I suppose. We'll land the crit. Alright, Hunter's up now. So this, is this guy dead? He's dead now to bleeding and trauma. Alright, I guess we should start focusing on that guy then. No point in doing Mending Retreat, I'm doing fine. Let's get rid of, well, 50% chance of getting rid of regeneration. Doesn't happen. Still though, let's apply bleeding and hit him. So that guy dies. This guy, who's he going to attack? The damage troll? I hope so. Yes, he goes for the damage troll. Perfect. So troll can take a hit. Oh man, is the troll going to kill this thing before my warlord gets to heal? Oh no, there's a javelin person back here. Okay. So do I heal now? I might miss the chance if I don't heal right now. So yeah, we'll just, we'll just walk up here. Wait, why, why even do that? I might as well just like walk, I don't know, here and seismic slam this guy. Yeah. Although, this guy does have protection. He's not necessarily going to die from it. Oh, yes, I got that 60% chance to pierce. Nice. He's not dead, but the hunter will get to kill him if the goblin doesn't. All right, cool. So as long as this guy doesn't do anything stupid, like go after my people. Both of my NPCs are more damaged, so it seems safe. I need to be within five for that one. Uh, yep, yeah, seems solid. And we can also get rid of the reduction, which is nice. All right, well, let's get the crit chance going and pop this guy. Bam, ooh, nice crit. Okay, one rep reputation. Let's keep on going. We are at full health. Or no, this is this, this is starting the new quest. Yeah, we'll just do that. I think it's better than sailing around the islands. Let me see if I can hit this merchant ship. Yep, yep, there we go. And we gotta make some decisions. So obviously let's find where the next bazaar is just in case, but um, I can, um. Sell this dust and get up to 22. And I can sell a little chunk of food and go up to 24. Yeah, let's do it. It's a little risky. I mean, bad things can happen with this. But my thinking with the 24 is I can buy two more runes from adventuring boats. In fact, there's an adventuring boat right here. Oh, yes. Come to give me my next adventurer. Perfect. Let's recruit. All right. So I could get a melee person and just be silly. But we'll get the geomancer. This is silly as well. To be fair, I haven't played with the Ice Maiden, I think, like, since I unlocked her. So that would be the true thing to take if I wanted to, you know, be different. Um, God, she's so bad. Ne next run, okay, next run, guys, I promise I'm taking the, the Ice Maiden. But I really, I really want to win this one because I want to see what you unlock if you have all your characters unlocked. Granted, the Geomancer is not what I'd really be taking if I wanted to win. I would take the Pyromancer or the Warlock. But you know what? I'm compromising, okay? I'm compromising between doing new things and making sure I win. The Geomancer is pretty good in the final fight because his damage output sucks balls, and so facing off against him isn't bad. He has a few hit points, so he's like a pretty easy range character to kill. He doesn't deal too much punishment to your team, and he has a, he has a weakness, which is really good for the Everking, and obviously the, uh, the Shadow person. Not only is the AI worse at using its abilities than you are, but the Shadow person putting weakness on a member of your party is not nearly as significant as, um, you putting weakness on the Ever King. Okay, that's all we need. So, I am, um, unfortunately, two runes short still. Wait, let me get the Geomancer. Paid for him. I'm gonna get him. Uh, I am two runes short of being able to put protection on my full team, and I do need to start thinking about that at some point. We've just, we've just got, well, we've still got a lot to go. We gotta do a bunch of quests here. Uh, man, I don't even know how I know this, but it's infinite dust. Um, I don't know what happens if you tell the wrong thing. Um, anyway, so we do the quest to get Goblin Reputation up. Then we have to, you know, once we get the next bar of Reputation, we have to go talk to the Commander. 
and then we have to do the missions, and we have to do the beacon, so there's a lot. There's, there's a lot we have to do still. There is time to get those two runes and find an altar, but, you know, it's something I should start thinking about now. I could have gone crazy and sold some food, you know, and then bought more, bought like an extra rune. I could have sold six food. Ah, uh, yeah, that probably would have been good to, to buy the fourth rune. Yeah, I have three runes. Did, some, did it get me a rune? I thought I only had two. Well, anyway, uh, yeah, buying an extra rune just so I, if I find an altar at some point, I would have already been done would be good. Okay. Let's deliver a message to the trolls. Please listen to me. Uh-huh. All right, perfect. We got some food. All right, well, we could also... I mean, there's always a chance we're just going to find 12 frags at some point and just, you know, get there naturally. I could always have a bad fight and need to eat a lot of food. Mmm, boy. Is this... Okay, this, this guy's on our side, this leecher. So we actually are outnumbering them really heavily here. Bizarrely, I don't think I can actually hit anybody. Oh, no, I can. I can hit I can hit this a defender. Ah, uh, yeah, it's worth it. Yeah, this is the only one I can hit. Because uh, the seismic slam does not travel across gaps in terrain. Reduction or the fury? Let's go for the reduction. It's too bad I'm not getting the ranger, but this guy might get hit. So we seismic slam what we can. Pop goes the weasel. And alright, we actually really won the initiative pretty hard here, so that's good. Okay, the defender got torment, so he's gonna take even more damage. Bam! This defender's just about dead, actually. What you got? Oh yeah, you immobilize adjacent foes, and it's a cooldown three. This is so bad. Yeah, I'm next to you, and uh, now you're frozen next to me. Yeah, and I have no way of getting away from it. Absorb an Aegis. Oh, this, this is actually really good. Wow, how do I not remember this being so good? Putting Absorb on an ally is really strong. Immobilize. Oh, yeah, Immobilize and Blind. That's so good, too. God, every single one of these utilities is money. Why was I not more excited about the Geomancer? Is it because his, his skills do no damage? Right. Na no damage. Terrible damage. And no damage. <laughs> he does shit for damage, but honestly, if you could just increase the damage of his skills by one, this guy would be a great class. Even, you know what, I'll take having just two of them go up by one. Because he still has a shit movement ability. That's such a long cooldown. And it's just it's just a blink. So really, like, having this, like, deal four damage. And, like, this deal four. You know, that would, that would make him, like, some of them one I'm actually excited to take. Because these utility skills are boss. Jesus. Alright, anyway, I'm, I'm done gushing about this class that I always said I hated. So anyway, um, what do we have for range? We got four. Ah, boy, that's going to be tough. I mean, Earthquake, this square would actually hit all three enemies, but that's that's ambitious. <laughs> I'd have to, like, go right up here, basically, and that would block the Warlord from coming up to face the enemies. That seems pretty foolish. Um, Assailant. Seems like a melee person. What's the speed? Three? So I can actually get up here. It'd be pretty safe. Alright, why don't we do this? I'm kind of in... As weird enough as it is, this actually is a pretty safe spot to be standing. I'm going to immobilize and blind a ranged character on the enemy team. And can I actually get here with the... I can actually get... No, I can't get there where I would hit them all. I can hit two of them with Earthquake. What's this guy got? He's down to... Seven. Uh, I can't hit him. I don't have enough. And then at that, that, I just didn't position myself. Well, I guess we're Earthquaking then. I can hit two people. The Javelin person is more dangerous. So I'll deal my whopping two damage to him. Woo! Okay. This guy... Oh, he's attacking the goblin. Perfect. Perfection. Indeed. All right. You have no AoEs, yes? This is all single target. Which makes sense. I'm fine with that. I mean, she has a lot of stuff going for her. I think I can just hit this guy and kill him. I mean, is there anyone else who does less damage who I'd rather use? The hunter... Can the hunter get there with volley? I don't think he can. Well, he can. He'd have to use a Mending Retreat to get here, then one, two, three, four... F uh, that's not a square. I've made this mistake before. This is not a square, I'm pretty sure. So he actually can't get there with Volley. One, two, three, four, five. Well, he could do a, a Crippling Shot. That would deal three, then put on Poison. This guy would then be at three, Poison to Bleeding One, and if he moves, he's dead. That does sound good, but I think I'd rather just kill him. Of course, I can't kill him. Um, I can I can only basically bleed him to death. Huh. 
range of five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it's rough. If I if I if I leap, I could end up in a lot of trouble because her speed is very low. She wouldn't necessarily be able to get out of a bad situation. All right, sorry, I'm think taking a while to think. I apologize for that, but I feel like this it's worth it, you know, to take your time here, because this is a tricky situation. All right, we'll do a little hop. I'm gonna go here. Um, I'm just gonna go for the crit. And then we're gonna five damage this guy, hits, shoot him through the mast. Alright, no crit. Got rid of his something or other though. Ah, I'm in position, I'm in chain position here. That was a mistake. Shouldn't, shouldn't have done that. Lucked out a little bit. Um, so I need to hit this guy from six away. One, two, three, four, five. Oh my god, I actually stood in the wrong place. I can get him from here though, so we'll waste the mending retreat just for the extra movement. I'm gonna blind this guy with his chain attacks. And I can volley. Vo volley actually is what I- wait, I can reach him? I didn't think I could reach him with volley. Well, I'm clearly doing it. Okay, so he is dead if he moves, so he's gonna just stand still. Regeneration means he's not gonna die of the bleed, unfortunately. Okay, the warlord- oh, it's time to get in there, buddy. Do what you do best. Blind and bone pour? Nah, let's just Fury Concentrate. Wait, she's already got Fury? Hold on. I mean, her Fury's gonna go away at the start of her turn, though. So, rather than blinding this guy and doing that much, let's go for the extra crit on the Ranger. And we're just gonna whack him. Get some trauma going in there. Alright, hopefully this Black Bow does a volley or something and just kills both these guys. No, maybe he'd already used his volley, I'm not sure. Hopefully this guy kills that guy, it's possible. He might hit him for five. No, he did a life steal. Fury and haste, so he's down to one. He's not quite dead, unfortunately. Uh, if I put weakness on him, he actually will die. And I, I don't have my blind right now. Only thing is, I might rather, you know, put a shield on my warlord and just, uh, you know, let the warlord attack him. But but that seems silly. We've got enough healing in this warlord that I don't mind it too much. So what I'm gonna do here is uh, just. Get over here, where it's relatively safe. Put weakness on this guy, making him die of that trauma. Actually, the the uh, the trauma would have killed him regardless. Oh god, I did not put myself in position. Jesus Christ, uh, that was stupid. So I just wasted my utility completely. There's no reason not to kill him. Like it would be compounding my errors if I chose not to attack him because I had literally nothing else to do. But uh, that was unfortunate in the extreme. Alright, so this other goblin's taking some damage. These guys are pretty close to full health. I can immobilize the melee person. It doesn't do much for me. I'd rather just do an aimed shot. And I can do it from where I'm standing. So she'll just stay where she is. You know, I really should have walked up to the Geomancer and put regeneration on him. There's no reason not to get the heal. But whatever. We'll hit him. And uh, the Warlord maybe can heal or something like that. Oh, I should have, you know, I should have regenerated the Warlord. The Warlord takes two damage for every step that he moves. Hmm. That was silly. Alright, uh, the Hunter needs to get a little closer if he wants to actually attack people. So he shall. No buffs to remove, so let's go for the Fury on himself. And keep hitting this guy, I guess. Uh, I can't reach him? Okay. Good job, Boris. Superb positioning. Alright, I, I don't want to move. I do have Seismic Slam back, so I think I'm just fine standing still. That does nothing. So we just Seismic Slam this guy to death. And maybe we can kill- there's a lot of people who get to go before the Assailant. So my Geomancer ends up damaged in this fight. Yeah, the goblins are going to kill him, unfortunately. So oh, that was kind of, un kind of unnecessary. Oh, he, he, it's a melee person! He couldn't get up there! Ha, ah, nice. Alright, well, the problem is the Spearman's next. He's gonna bleed to death, and the Geomancer doesn't have any self-healing here. So, um... He can't, he can't do anything. We can't, we can't sneak a heal out of him. Tragically. So, Stone Shards it is. Missed the opportunity with the, with the, um, Ranger. I could've healed the Geomancer. Alright, well, we, we, we can heal him anyway. Only one reputation for selling off, for saving the leader. Let's go back here. I will feed the Geomancer. 
maybe, yeah, here's an adventuring boat. I could have bought the fourth rune that I need. And been set, well, once I find an altar. I actually haven't seen an altar in a while. Okay, well, let's find the rat. Do, do, do. Goblin reputation. Tommy, come with us. Come with us and help us. No, Tommy. Tommy, no. Alright, well, we're not sailing to us. Oh, a bazaar. Okay, no need. I could go here. I could get the, the. I could trade in six food to get 12 frags. And then, when I find an adventuring ship, buy a rune. Oh, wow, we're already facing off against Vorn? Well. This is actually pretty, considering how long it took me to get that reputation, uh, I'm actually doing okay on time here. Corner them and interrogate, or look for you to reach the commander's tent. Hmm, let's just be stealthy here. Alright, not a problem. Melee, half, and then ranged. We will be able to immobilize and blind this guy, though, with the Geomancer. And Manda will be able to immobilize the melee person. This is looking pretty solid. Yeah, why don't we just keep it simple, huh? Let's go here. Get maximum reach with the uh, seismic slam and, and get the ranger ready to go for her damaging thing. Maybe I could have targeted a different character, but this one lets me this lets me stay farther back. Okay, so she wants to blind this guy. I think this is the time to use the leap, honestly. She can blind him from a range of five, and then she can attack this guy with a range of five. So this is the perfect square to stand. So we blind the ranged person, and we're going to shoot and immobilize the melee person. Keep in mind, she has no AoEs. She's an amazing character, the ranger. I don't mind at all that she has no AoEs, but just to remember, if you're wondering why I did an AoE here, she looks a lot like the hunter, but she does not have a volley. Okay, I can actually immobilize and blind that guy. We can, just in we can actually disable their entire team, which seems like a pretty good use of my time. I just need to be five squares away. Earthquake is range 4. Ah, so I will need to get up a little extra close. And the Geomancer, he does have a high speed. 4 speed's pretty good. So mobilize and weakness. And then Earthquake the team. What the heck? He got pushed? I guess the guy's inflamed or something? And then that's that. He's immobilized, so that's that. They're still in volley formation. Can I get there? Yep, if I do a mending retreat for an extra movement point. Can get to be within volley. And I think I might as well blind. I mean, that's better than getting rid of stupid buffs that I don't care about. Well, okay, it would have been, been good to get rid of the absorb. But blinding both of the ranged people, even though one of them is only semi-ranged, seems like a pretty good use of my time. So that absorb, you know, kicks in. But it's fine. He's immobilized. All right, Warlord's back. He's actually got to got to get into range now to attack somebody, and so he shall. Let's go here. We'll put on the reduction. Not much point in blinding that guy. And yes, I know you know it reduces their accuracy, but it's it's not you know a big enough consideration for me. Regeneration doesn't really do too much. Uh, she's already got Fury. Can I kill this guy? Hmm, not quite. The regeneration will stop him from dying to trauma even if I deal 5 damage. 50-50 shot of getting rid of, rid of the regeneration and then the trauma will kill him. Um, hmm. The Geomancer can scoot back here and do a do his weak pierce. That would be a good way to kill this guy off after the ranger softens him up. Alright, we'll try it. So I need to be within 5, which I am, so she's fine where she is. And... We'll just do this, because I don't need to do regeneration here. Just to hit this guy. Okay, got a crit, so he died. Geomancer! I could I could I could immobilize these people, but they're both blind. How much value is there in them also being immobilized? Not enough to make me not want to deal some damage to them, so we'll go here. I guess I could have immobilized him. Um should I put this shield on? Or trauma and weakness? Huh. I, I don't know who they're going to attack, but since they're blind and he's got a little bit of damage missing, it's possible that they'll go after him, so the absorption on him seems like a solid choice. So he's blind. Goes for the Geomancer and misses. And that guy is melee, also going for the Geomancer. 
Luckily, the Dispel didn't get rid of his shield, but they both missed anyway. Volley's still on cooldown, because I think I just used it, actually. I don't know why I'm saying still on cooldown. So the Warlord can actually hit them both for four, I think, is his cleave. But I still need to hit this guy for a little bit of damage, so we'll go here. Uh, precision doesn't matter, so we'll go for the crit chance. And I guess since I have crit chance, oh, I didn't get close enough to deadly shot that guy. I always think it's a range five, and I'm, I don't mind that it isn't. I think it's it's the hunter's strong enough without needing a range five ability, but I always I think it is. Um, is it worth it to walk here and heal the geomancer for a hit point? Um, I think I think it's worth it to get the damage on that. That might make the difference. Okay, blind and bone pour. And then cleave. Alright, can the ranger hit this person? Yep. Tragically, I'm not close enough to be able to uh, heal the geomancer of his bone pour. And then range 7, deal 4 damage and bleed. Seems good. Alright, the Geomancer actually healed for some reason. I don't know what he has. Makes you immune to trauma. That didn't do it. Reduction is still around, so the Bone Pour has no effect. Trauma and weakness, just deal some extra damage. In case this guy lives, although I think he's gonna die from the bleeding and all this stuff. And we end up full health. Alright, that was good. Ah, uh, yes. Let's do our usual thing here. Go to the main menu and come back. Druid! She's cool. Druid's a good character. I like the Druid, like the Wizard. Cleric's solid. Fighter's solid. Warlord's definitely my favorite melee character. The Monk is unplayable garbage until you get his ranged weapon. I, I hate the Monk. The, his initial kit of abilities is so bad. And the Guardian, of course. You know, I think I actually hate the Guardian a little bit less than I hate the Monk. Gotta say. Um... You know, I could... You know, let's just get in there. Let's fight. I feel confident. What, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute! The troll turned on me? Oh, I thought we were friends for life, Tommy. Oh, you fucker. Well, what are we, crippled and poisoned? Is now the time to do a heal? Hmm. Well, I don't really fancy attacking this troll when he's got all these buffs and I cannot, um, debuff him. I'm trying to see if there's a way I can hit this guy with Seismic Slam and be in position for reduction on my on my allies. There really isn't. If I stand here, I guess I get the Hunter as well. But I'd rather move more for the, uh, the healing. And he was pretty badly hurt. Okay, well, this is the only thing that matters. Let's put it on the Hunter. Cause the, the Geomancer's damage. Let's be real here. That's, that's not going to make a difference to anything. Okay, so the ranger, I don't want her to get a hit by the troll, so we'll put her here. She can pretty much hit everybody from here. I cannot get rid of buffs, so I cannot do anything to this troll. But I can... Blind, Bone Pour, and Fear. Do I need that to kill him? Nah, I'd rather just go for the crit damage here and hit him with the hardest thing. Oh, wait a minute, I can hit the troll and get rid of a buff. Oh, man, there's not. I don't have many other things that will get rid of buffs. But no, we need to kill this guy before he takes a turn. I think that's the most useful thing I can do, honestly. All right, the Geomancer needs to move out to make way for the Hunter. And I'll try to space out my team. Okay, hopefully the troll goes for the Poisoned Warlord. Trauma. Do I need this to kill this guy? I'm going to hit him for... 3 and bleed, so he's down to 6. And then the Hunter can get him for 5 and bleed. Can he? Can the hunter do that? One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Oh, the hunter. One, two, three, four. Yes, the hunter. If the hunter runs straight, the hunter can do that. Okay. Wait, so do I need this or not? Wait, wait, wait. Six. Yeah, so he's dead. So I'm going to put the absorb on the warlord. At least it stops the damage from the poison. Um, but let's see. Let's, and I have to also hit with my skills. It should be noted. So the Hunter pops a Mending Retreat, which is a little rough, because the Warlords used his healing ability as well. Um, I'm gonna just get rid of one of these buffs. They last, it seems, for more than just the one round. And hit that guy, please don't miss. So if two stacks of bleed, he dies exactly. Troll, go after the Warlord, go after the Warlord. No, he went for the... I should have figured he would go for the double damage. No, he actually just didn't do that. Alright. Vigor and stability. Crap, still has this stability, huh? Well, let's put the reduction on. And just whack him. He's also got vigor, too, so 
didn't get to uh, get rid of anything. Well, I think the ranger should stop dicking around and actually use her regeneration skill for once. And nothing, nothing I do matters. So we'll just hit for damage. Even with the troll taking extra damage from the enrage, I just don't see us getting there. Trauma and weakness. He can actually be weakened. Okay, so that's clearly the only thing that makes any sense to do here. Alright, Hunter's not going to get to do any mending retreats for healing. Can't do blind. Actually, I can do blind. Why not Why not do blind? I think that's better than like a crit chance or whatever. Give the troll an extra chance. Oh wait, blind is sufficed by stability. Da da. Mm. Yes, I thought blind was by for defiance for some reason, which is totally wrong. Alright, so the troll gets to go. This is going to be a half punch for one damage. Well, I guess the reduction in the weakness really helped. Cool. Alright, well, let's go here. I'm just going to fury concentrate myself and seismic slam because it's the hardest hitting thing I've got. Does anybody have any more heals? No. So there's no reason to do anything except just try to kill this troll. Boing. Nice heal there. Alright, some dust, reputation. Well, you know, we're getting to the point where, like, getting hit once in a fight is like, oh, that was bad. But, I mean, clearly that's fine. There's a there's a Vorn ship there I don't particularly want to fight. That's a bizarre. At this point, I don't mind getting into one. Oh, hang on. Yeah, okay, we're going to do this. This is risky. I wouldn't necessarily try this at home, kids. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to, you know, trade... Well, that's a lot. Hang on. It's a very, very sensitive slider. Wait, can I trade this dust away, too? Eh, you know what? I'll keep the dust. It's nice to have a little bit of dust. Um, so that you can get away from ships. In a case of an emergency... Emergence? Emergency? Emergency? Um, so I got the 12 frags. If I see an adventuring ship now, I'll be able to buy my fourth rune and not have to do any fighting with Vorn. Although, of course, the adventuring ships are all gone. Yeah, can you guys all go to my next fight? That would be great. Maybe if you guys could all just come to the beacon with me. Mm-hmm. Alright. Four dust, four food. Well, I'm happy to have some more food. Since I just traded away six of it. And I think we'll do one more... One more fight here. And call it a day. By the way, if you're playing on your own, you should totally keep going to all the islands. Because, you know, you might unlock more stuff. I'm definitely limiting my unlocks here by this. Alright, this boat was apparently damaged in battle, so my troll ally starts out damaged. Of course, you hit the enemy team for 10 damage, so am I complaining? No. Let's go here and put some reduction on. Unfortunately, I cannot seismic slam because there's, there's a hole here. There was no way I could, I could seismic slam anybody. Honestly, though, there's a really good chance the enemy is just going to go after this troll. Geomancer MVP right here. We're going to mobilize him blind. That guy to stop his shenanigans. Can I earthquake here to hit them both? Sure. Oh my god, crit. Well, when it deals 5 damage, it's actually good. Can I kill that person before he gets to go? He's got 9 hit points. This guy's doing nothing on his turn. His turn's coming up next. It just passes. So, I'm pretty sure I can kill this dude. Let's get up here. Um, Line, bone, for fear. I don't even need it. No, we're just doing this. And hitting for maximum damage. Getting a crit. Oh no! No, that's actually bad! No! Oh, that's hilarious that that crit was bad. I, sh I shouldn't have put my crit skill on, honestly. I shouldn't have put it on. I didn't want that guy to die. I just did I didn't even think about him becoming enraged and, you know, all that. Okay, I definitely want the Warlord to go again. I'm afraid of killing him, so I'm, not, I'm gonna learn from my mistakes. We're hit, we'll use our weakest skill here. And then... The oh no, the Fire Troll's gonna kill this guy! Oh, shucks. Well, that's okay. I, I'm actually okay with it. That was such a short fight, I can actually keep going a little bit more before running out of time. Wow. Alright. So, who got damaged? The Geomancer. Let's eat a little bit of food there, buddy. And yeah, lots of islands here. Potential to unlock stuff. Definitely do it when you play on your own. But in the interest of, you know, the videos, let's... Oh, beep, 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 beep. Uh, I'm going to take a little bit of a detour here. This adventuring ship... Oh, no. Is, is it about to die to the Vorn? Wow. Well, that was epically bad. There's an altar. Oh, man. If only I had done it the first time I found a ship before I met the adventurers. Uh, I could have bought the extra rune from them. And I would be set. But as it is, I am not. 
Is this really a four on two fight? I won't complain. This guy goes after my Geomancer, who has actually a really high initiative for a ranged character. Um, yeah, we'll just stand at the minimum range that we need to be at. Put reduction on, because this guy might get to me. I'm hoping, actually, I, probably, I really should have thought about it. This guy goes after the Ranger, so the Ranger can actually immobilize him. So I actually messed up. I, I didn't have to put reduction on, I could have gone for, like, the Fury. It's a minor thing, though. So we'll immobilize and blind, and, um, I'm sure, we'll do, we'll do the Earthquake. Oh, that'd be so good if it did. If it if it either had guaranteed trauma or a higher percent chance on the trauma, or if it dealt more damage, it'd be good. Anyway, so she's gonna want to immobilize this person with a pin shot. One, two, three, four, five. No need to do a jump for that to work. I guess I could have jumped here and healed the Geomancer. I'm underutilizing that a little bit, but yeah, we'll just put on Fury and then do the pinning shot, pinned shot, I suppose. Nice crit. So they're both immobilized. Lose their turns. And you put on, what? Regeneration and Aegis? That's not a big deal. Okay, who's up next? Okay, they both go together. I just want them both to die. Um, we'll do a blind in case it matters. And I'll go after the, the ranged person who is also the more dangerous person. Alright, Warlord. This is target enemy, so I cannot cleave them. Um, all right, well, we'll just get up here then, I guess. And... Sure. See if we can kill this guy before his regeneration kicks in. Ooh, that was a bad time to miss. Hmm. I cannot hit them both with this fissure. This deals more damage anyhow, so I guess we'll just stay put. Trauma and weakness, I think, makes more sense to put on that guy, because this guy should be the one who dies. Beep. Okay, so he's down to uh, one hit point. Kind of, kind of feels lame to waste a whole attack um, on him. I can put Bone Pour on him, so if he does an ability, he dies. But that's okay. Um, let's regenerate the Geomancer and kill this guy. So this guy gets to go now. He is enraged. He's also weak. It's not going to hit very hard unless he dispels the weakness, which he did. Ah, four damage. Four damage, four shmamage, as my grandfather used to say. Let's try to get rid of the protection. Got it. Don't want to hit him. I do want the um, Geomancer to have another turn, but this is unlikely to hit him unless, of course, I crit. Which I didn't. Can the Warlord make it over here? So yeah, he can heal the Geomancer for two. For three? Don't know why. I'll take it, though. Do you want to attack this guy? No, I want the Geomancer to have a turn, and any of my skills would actually kill here. Yeah, there it is. Three again. Very nice. Oh yeah, well that makes sense. From the from the trinket. But the trinket... Okay, the Warlord's movement ability normally heals for one. The, the trinket that's over, over, overpoweredness makes it do two. So I don't know why the Geomancer healed for three there. The Geomancer seems to be taking bonuses from healing. Okay, well, let's just kill this guy. And by kill the guy, I mean not kill him, because the Geomancer is like the only character in the entire game who could actually fail. <laughs> To kill this guy. Right, he's got two bone pores and two bleeds. The regeneration is not going to save him from that. Well, he, now if he does anything, he dies. So we actually... That was useful to have that bone pore. Um, now we don't need to do anything else. The Geomancer actually got up to full health with that mysterious buff to his healing. And, um, okay, so this will be the last fight of the video coming up here as soon as we get in from the main menu. Do do do. You can get an Ankh of Protection for your party members at the altar. Hey! I do kind of wish that healed for more. I mean, I'm, I'm, of, I'm of torn minds. On the one hand, I mean, it already makes a huge difference. And without it, I would have lost some of my endgame fights. So, you know, does it really need to be stronger? But on the other hand, it's, you know, it, it's not that much to heal for, like, what, seven is what they get? Kind of sad. All right, so uh, we got a lot of these guys. Um, unfortunately, they did a pretty good job with their initiative. Their initiative is actually better than the Geomancer, so I'm honestly lucky to even even have him be going up first. Warlord, well, this is a no-brainer. So the Warlord's gonna go here. Does he put reduction on himself? I think so, the other things just don't do enough. And then Seismic Slam to hit two enemy at the same time. Ah, that's a bad miss. All right, Donna Earthquake here. I do not have to blink to achieve this. Can I be out of AoE formation? I can't. So, well, actually, that's a little bit too far away. Let's go here. 
As tempting as it is to put on a shield, I mean, immobilized and blind is much better. So we'll go ahead and do this guy. Hopefully the uh, the hunter or the, the ranger can maybe blind this one. All right, so now we uh, do this to hit the entire enemy team. Got them all, landed a trauma. Sucks that three of the four are AOEs, but it could be worse. Okay, two to miss I'll, I'll happily take. That's solid. This guy does nothing. Okay, so the ranger definitely needs to blind this adept. She can't kill him without a crit, and I can't guarantee a crit. So we're going to want to be within range five, which this is not. So let's leap. I'm going to leap here. It's far away from the melee person. Let's see, he has a speed of four. Good, I should have checked that first. Um, and being, next to, being close to the range people obviously doesn't matter that much. Okay, so what do we do here? Reduction, Aegis. Uh, I can get rid of one of these buffs. The Aegis doesn't matter. The Reduction does. I could pin shot and kill him. But honestly, why dick around? Let's just attack this guy. And he'll die to the Hunter's volley with this. I guess I could have used a weaker ability of hers. Okay. The Hunter needs to use Mending Retreat in order to land the volley here. I will blind this one. They both come up at the same time, so it doesn't matter. I was thinking I would want to, you know, blind the one whose turn comes up sooner, but it's all the same. Don't miss here, please. Okay, didn't miss. Very good. This guy's a speed of three. He can't get there. He's going to heal that guy, which is annoying. Uh, the Warlord, um, let's see. Do I want to heal for, like, a tickle? That seems kind of stupid. So let's just go here and do a cleave. I'm a, I'm a, I'll take a... I, actually, wait a minute. I have reduction, so the bone pour is being canceled. So we'll put the fury on the ranger. And then punch these guys. Kind of annoying that they actually get hit out like that. But, hey, now the Geomancer can use a pierce. So, sure. I'll take it. So there's that. Trauma and weakness on the ranged person. Seems like a good deal. I'll take a damage for that. And then we'll hit him. So now these guys both get to go. Luckily, this one's blind. So all he can do is a point blank. He's also weak. So it's just pretty sad. This guy's full. We're gonna get AoE'd now. Over here, it seems. Missing a two. I'll take it. Alright, can we kill somebody? This guy, can he die before he has to go? Um, maybe. Uh, I should have moved and put regeneration on the Geomancer, because now she has two stacks of fury. The fight might not even last that long. Alright, let's, let's pin him in place. It seems like a decent use of my time. Okay, the Hunter doesn't have anything. Stability, Aegis and Fury. Stability gets rid of Immobilized. Not the greatest. But, might as well. And then who's up next? The Speaker Leader. He's Immobilized, though. I think I want to get damage on this guy. This can actually kill him. And he's the much more dangerous threat. Actually, I guess they're not really that dangerous. <laughs> they haven't really been doing anything at all. Alright, Warlord, please... Wait, this is stupid. That's a dumb way to heal because then I, um... If I do this, then I miss the Geomancer, and if I do this, I can't attack, so clearly that's not what I want to do at all in the slightest. Let's go here. Let's blind him, and just whack him. Alright, the Geomancer does need to attack him. The reduction will stop the trauma from killing this guy. I can't get rid of that, unfortunately. Okay, well, simple turn then. Put a shield on the Hunter to stop the burning damage, and we're going to hit this guy. He'll be dead before his turn comes. It's just a matter of keeping my health as high as possible. Got a miss from the blindness. Nice. Okay, let's uh, step up. Regenerate the Geomancer, though I'm not 100% confident he actually is going to get to have another turn. Okay. Do I want to do anything? Hmm. Yeah, the Warlord can heal the Geomancer for a bit, and then stand next to the Geomancer. The Hunter can kill this guy. This guy is dead to trauma. Honestly, we don't need to do anything, so it doesn't matter what I do, so I'll just, I'll just kill him just to have him dead, but it didn't make a difference. Because this guy is not up and Like, the, this guy has just gone, so the Ranger was the first to go. Everybody else is going to get to go still. Alright, let's go here so the uh, Warlord heals the Hunter when moving by. And then we don't need to do anything else. So the Warlord finally cashes in on his heal. 
Did I really not click my rallying run? I really thought I had that clicked. Well, that guy, you know, makes bank. And this guy dies. But yeah, so the hunter ends up being a little bit damaged because I clicked the wrong button. Not the end of the world. Oh, is there more stuff? Please tell me that was the last fight. Oh, man. Uh, I need to find the missing number. Is this a puzzle? What is going on here? Oh, Jesus. Sorry, this is a long video and I apologize. I didn't realize there was so much to do here. <sighs> did, I, did I miss something? Two question mark, three question mark. Is this a puzzle? Two, one, three, six, two, four, three, two. Two, five, three, eight. Oh man, I have to like solve a puzzle <laughs> while recording a video. So there's a possibility that I just didn't read some text and I, you know, might have missed the combination. Is this a clue maybe? Um, there's these weird ones. Oh, jeez. Sorry. Well, it's, hang on. Th if we look across, this is like 3, 4, 3, 1. Nah, none of them is a 2. 3, 3, 3, 2. That's not one of the options. Let me just take a look. How many stones are there here? 3, 7, 10, 11. So let's try to add these up to 11. 2 plus 3 is 5, so I need numbers that are up to 6. Nope, nope, nope. Wait, that adds up to 6. Alright, we'll try it. Hey, we got two dust. Wow, for being a genius and solving that super hard puzzle, you'd think I'd get more reward than two dust, but well, let's, let's move, I guess. Oh, man. All right, well, we have an extra long video today. Um, is, is there just one enemy? There's just one enemy. All right, well, uh, sure. This is just one dude. So my, my, my poor hunter is a bit out of position here, but um, whatever. And then Seismic Slam. This guy's last to act with his initiative of one. So it's not a super big problem. We'll just do a Mending Retreat here to heal. Um, I'll blind him just to reduce his odds of hitting. The other stuff doesn't matter because he already has Fury. We'll bleed him. Geomancer, get up here, buddy. And it's immobilize and blind him, I guess. Just to, you know, lay the smack down on this poor, poor fella. And the ranger, you'll hop in there too, won't ya? I love that sound effect, such a good one. Bink! With the crit? Uh-huh. Wow, this is... Oh my god. <laughs> this is a long thing. Sorry, I didn't. I had no idea this was gonna this was gonna take as long as it did. I I thought I've done this before and it wasn't that long, but here it is. So that we have a troll and they have two trolls. We also we also have two goblins. So I'd still give us the advantage in this fight, especially if the enemy trolls go after my troll. Um, that makes it relatively straightforward process. What's weird is it's kind of hard to get to these people. I guess we'll have to walk all the way up here. I'll put on some reduction. I'm likely to get hit out here, especially. This troll changes his mind about its targeting priorities. All right, Kata. Rain some daggers. Oh, God, I love that ability when it's not being used against me. Oh, we got two cutters. Nice. These cutters are pretty much the single reason, like, why I hate playing against the goblins. They are so good. Okay, blind. Uh, these people are all melee, so the blind... I mean, there's the bone pour and the whatever. But I think I'd rather just take extra crit chance. This guy can hit him from back here, so we won't use the jump yet. We'll see if I need it later, maybe. Caw! Crit? No crit, but he's dead on his turn. Um, I guess the hunter probably wants to rain a smoke arrow down there. Is that a five? It is. And then a volley here, which is also a five. So this is the perfect square. Let's get rid of one of these. And then volley these two people get started on this troll. Uh, two trolls, you know, is no no laughing matter, even if you have a troll to help you. That is for sure. Alright, um, I can immobilize and blind the troll. It seems like a good use of my time. This guy's got a speed of three. He can't get to my warlord. He can attack the goblin. I don't care about that, though. So, yeah. Can I do that? Excuse me. Can I actually get within five? One, two, three, four. Mm. Gotta walk all the way up here. 
Well, I think it's worth it. It seems like I'm not that likely to get attacked at the moment. Well, Earthquake here to hit three of them. I guess that guy was going to die anyway, but sure. I always like to use Earthquake while I can. Probably would have been more technically precise to blind this troll. Or not blind, bleed the troll and hit him with the shards. Okay, my troll likes to do Focus Fire, which is good. The question is, does this troll Focus Fire? Or does he go for the cleave? Ah, he goes for the cleave. That's unfortunate. Oh, he actually hit the enemy goblin. That's fantastic. All right. Happy to see it, buddy. All right, we can cleave these two enemies. And I think that's worth doing. I mean, I'll take some damage, but I still have my heal. I guess we'll... that Don't blind that guy because, of course, um, he's immune to everything right now. He did take 10 damage from the hunter, which was nice, but... Uh, He's still kicking with 16 health. Alright, Goblin's laying some sick beats on these trolls. Can she get rid of a buff? She can get rid of a buff. Um, at range 5? Sure, we'll do this. Let's go here. Can I put Blind or Bone Pour? He's immune to exactly those things. I guess I should have stayed there and maybe healed that guy. Well, but then I couldn't have reached this one. So yeah. Boink. Ooh, another crit is nice. Can the hunter actually finish this troll off? Six? Uh, not quite. Not without a crit at any rate. Blind isn't doing doing me a whole lot of good. Alright, I guess we'll just go here then and go for the crit. That's what'll let this troll die. And I actually got the crit. Nice. Alright, Geomancer. Romancer. Uh, you... Trauma and weakness. It's already weak. He's vigorous and stable. Is this guy? That, guy, that guy's a friendly. All right. Well, we'll go here. And let's put a shield on. Man, I don't know. The geomancer himself. Man, we'll just make this guy bleed. He's vulnerable, so he should, yeah, he should take some, some good damage. And he's vulnerable, so the bleed actually kills him off through the regeneration. So we're down to just this last troll, yeah who is enraged, and gets to go. So one more attack is all I gotta dodge from this one, and I do. Perfect. My people all appear to be at full health. Even more perfect. So let's just get up here. Let's do whatever that is. And whackity. Whackity smackity. Oh, is, is, your, is your dagger raining back? Oh, yeah. Rain those daggers. I, I, I gotta be impressed here. My, my teammates didn't die. Then again, we were outnumbering the enemy pretty heavily, so it's not that much of an accomplishment. Oh, God. Uh, okay. Please tell me that was the end of it. This has been... An, uh, clearly, I should have stopped the video before this island. If I had known how epic it was gonna be with, like, math puzzles and everything, I would have stopped before this. I just thought it was gonna be like one quick little jaunt, pick up some goblin reputation and move on right at the end of the video. Do 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 yes I can find runes. Do, da, da. do I did I get that fourth rune? No, I was going to, but the adventurer ship got destroyed. Oh my god. Alright, get to the ships. Get out of here. Okay, can we go? Can we go? Can we go? One reputation. Yeah, wow, that was definitely worth one reputation. Man, I swear, some of the other factions, it's like, oh dear, I seem to have dropped my bag. And then you're like, give it to them, and then they're like, three reputation. Oh, can I have a piece of gum plus three reputation? But these goblins, it's like, yeah, can you like run the gauntlet inside the dwarven caverns of doom to save all of our heroes fighting trolls? One reputation. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed it. Sorry that was extra long. Please like and or subscribe, and of course, I'll see you again soon. Take care.